so I was put onto this by Kev, thanks Kev, uh, a number of weeks ago and I pretty much dismissed it out of hand. Um, I'd never heard of such a thing um, and as I say I just dismissed it. It's a hydrogen oxygen generator and a little gas torch that goes uh, with it for uh, silver soldering. It's actually sold to polish uh, acrylic, plexiglass. Um, Again, don't know how that works. I do actually have some acrylic from the uh, laser cutter, so we might uh, have a little look at that. But well, we were just wondering whether you could actually um, uh, silver solder and that sort of thing with it. This particular one is 150 quid. So we're just going to today. We're just going to do a quick unboxing video. Uh, just have a look what you get. Um, you are going to need some other bits to go with this. Uh, you're going to need. Um, distilled water unless you've got a uh, purifier in the house for something like a marine tank like we've got. Um, you're going to need some potassium hydroxide. Uh, I'll leave a link to that. It's not a common substance. It's hazardous as well but I've managed to order a kilo from somewhere in the UK. Uh, and ethanol I think as well. There's a, uh, a bubble trap. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But, so, but not uh, particularly you know, expensive five litres of uh, distilled water is not a lot. Same with ethanol and uh, the potassium hydroxide. And this came, I wasn't expecting this for another week or uh, so, but it turned up pretty quick. Okay, acrylic flame polisher is what it's uh, classed as, and we've got some uh, pipe there connection. The uh, box was a little banged up. But hopefully there's no damage. Okay. So in the end there we've got a UK IC cable. In the other end, we've got the um, other bits and pieces. And where's the torch? Ah, there it is. Okay. So there's the torch. We have uh, three nozzles. Nozzles. I think they're all the same size. So. Let's get all this apart, first of all. So there's the cable, we will just chuck that on the tester, make sure it is correctly earthed, you know what this stuff can be like from China. Yep, that's a pass, so we've got uh, all three conductors connected correctly. That's that. So, the descriptions on eBay and Amazon I don't think really explain things very well, especially the part that, where you need other bits and pieces to go with it. So we've got a very basic uh, book, inspect the goods, warranty 12 months, electrolyte solution is highly corrosive, so it's alkaline. Uh, okay, so the machine we've got is, where's the model number? We've got the H180A, which is this one here, it's 85 litres per hour apparently. Uh, water consumption is 30 millilitres per hour. A maximum water that the tank can hold is one litre. Uh, solution density 15%. I don't know how you're going to measure that. Eight kilos. Uh, so we don't have a flashback arrester. We don't have a T junction. Mm, okay. Packing list, torch tube, funnel, I don't remember seeing a funnel. 
Oh, there it is. And a little funnel as well, used obviously for filling it up. You don't really want to be pouring that solution uh, over anything. To so say it is uh, highly alkaline. Uh, so we've got all the bits. What we do not have is uh, item number four, which is the powder. Because it's hazardous, uh, it cannot be shipped. It then goes on to show you how to make uh, the electrolyte solution. Uh, add electroly electrolytic powder, which is sodium hydro. Oh, I got oh, shit. Did I buy potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide? Oh, crap. Hmm. If I've bought the wrong powder, I'm going to have to check that. That's a bugger. Uh, sodium hydroxide, it says here. Sodium hydroxide, is that baking soda? Bugger. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so it's showing here. Mm -hmm. How can you make up a solution ratio of 15%? And what are they basing that on? 15% volume. Hmm. Yeah, not very clear. I guess we'll have to experiment with uh, that. So that goes into the top. Uh, you've then got this container here. And this is where you add your uh, ethanol. And it goes up to this fill line here. And uh, basically the gases will bubble out through the bottom and come up. Pressurize this canister, and, uh, and then you can adjust from the torch here how much gas actually comes out. Yeah. There's a way of pressure pressure testing it. Okay, um, so it's saying here that you can also add alcohol to the cup lower than one third of the cup. Assemble the filter to the machine and tighten it. Note, the filter solution is distilled water or alcohol which adjusts flame, pureness and temperature. So I'm guessing if you're putting it through ethanol it is going to be a purer and hotter flame than if it's bubbling out through water. But we'll see. Um, I can't believe I bought the wrong powder. I'm sure I bought potassium. No, I don't know. I have to uh, check my order. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so once that's full, that's done, everything's connected, you can fire it up. And you're going to notice quite a draw, uh, current wise, uh, between 10 and 15 amps is uh, going to be what you're looking for. If it's down off the bottom of the scale here you have got something wrong, you haven't mixed up the solution correctly uh, so it won't be drawing much current uh, because it can't, uh, the electrolysis uh, can't take place with you know just that plain distilled water. It needs that, uh, uh, that sodium uh, hydroxide in there. Uh, anyway so there is the fill. Normal water line should be up there, um, and the low level is here. Um, and that's it, really. You're going to get a small reading. I don't expect to get more than a uh, psi or two. Uh, sorry, a bar. Actually, what is that marked at? Psi on the outer. So you're going to get maybe five, ten psi. I would think on the, on that. Delete that, turn that off again. Right, so that's it really. It's just a first look at uh, that. Let's have a little look at the torch whilst we're here. The other bits and pieces are coming over the next, well, probably early next week. So, what we'll do next week is get this connected, uh, fired up with the solution, which I hope <laughs> I've bought correctly. Notice this unscrews. You've got a uh, you've got to cut that off nice and square and push it on and do that up. And you can slide this back up and on. Just seal that there. 
you've got a no, that's a nice smooth knob there and then the replaceable uh, nozzles on the end three of them all the same size so um, yeah from initially dismissing this out of hand uh, to actually having one uh, there's a bit of a change around but hopefully we can use this as you probably know if you follow any of my videos um, I've got an oxy acetylene setup but uh, it's pretty bloody dangerous acetylene <laughs> Um, if that went up, you know, half the street would go up with it. So I don't store it in here, which means it's not exactly practical. I've got to go and get it from one of the sheds, drag it all out, check it, every, check everything, make sure nothing's been nibbled uh, pipe-wise, and, and get it all set up. So it's a bit of a pain when you could kind of use it. This uh, is, you know, perfectly okay to be left set up in the uh, in the workshop. So. Um, yeah, be very interested to see what this is uh, capable of. It's a bit of a <laughs> dodgy setup, isn't it? It's just on a plastic piece that's screwed to the front. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll uh, we'll see. I'll update you uh, next week uh, when we've got the rest of the required parts.